Endovascular thrombectomy is standard of care for large vessel occlusion stroke with a number needed to treat for benefit of three to five. Large vessel occlusion strokes occur when a clot blocks a major artery in the brain, like the proximal middle cerebral artery or the basilar artery. And these strokes are often severely disabling. In these cases, removal of the clot with thrombectomy reduces the risk of death and disability regardless of whether patients are treated early or late after symptom onset. It seemed logical that thrombectomy should benefit patients with medium-sized or distal vessel occlusion stroke. This is when a clot blocks the distal segments, for example, the M2 or M3 segments of the middle cerebral artery, causing a moderately disabling stroke. However, clinical trial data was lacking. Now, two trials published in the New England Journal of Medicine Escape Mevo and Distal address this question. Both trials randomized over 500 patients with medium vessel occlusion stroke to thrombectomy or medical therapy. The primary outcome was disability after stroke measured by the modified Rankine scale, which ranges from zero, no disability, to six, death. The results of these two trials were similar. There was no difference in disability measured by the modified Rankine scale in patients with medium vessel occlusion stroke treated with thrombectomy compared to those treated medically. In addition, there were numerically higher numbers of intracranial bleed and death in those treated with thrombectomy, indicating that this procedure may be harmful for patients with medium vessel occlusion stroke. The ESCAPE MEVO and DISTAL trials do not support endovascular thrombectomy in patients with medium-sized or distal vessel occlusion stroke.